take off auntie then spoke you know she has some strong words find out what happened to my nephew by any means when i heard that i said oh oh that's what we've been worried about it kind of feel like street justice that whole sin, that whole, you know, word and that whole phrase just feels like retaliation, in my opinion. A lot of people say retaliation is a must, man. Uh, I just feel like Takeoff and the Migos got to a level that was just so big to be handling Takeoff death. Like some street punk is just kind of crazy to me. They lost my mind on that shit. Uh, I understand, though, a lot of people get this shit confused because the Migos got that big in the rap game. Them street niggas, them niggas come from the streets, you know what I'm saying? So they follow the street rules. But his auntie then spoke out, you know, she not happy about that shit. I think she feel the same way everybody else feels. She want to know what happened by any means. So, you know, all this talk about Quavo, sacrifice, take off. This was part of the label that got him killed. We got to get past that. You know, I understand that's a good narrative, but we got to get past that. This street shit, shit happen all the time. When there's crews, when there's beefs, when there's guns around, drugs, liquor, you get the blick and bullets don't got no name on them. Most of the people you see get killed was killed off a straight bullet. I was actually shot by a straight bullet in my arm. So that shit happens. I tell people that, you know, you got to be very careful about that kind of shit. But I'm going to tell you, this feels a little weird. Junior ain't came up. He ain't said anything. It's a fact he's coming covering up what happened. Quavo ain't saying anything. He covering up what happened because nobody wants to be involved in that shit. Nobody want to get caught up in the crime and then snitching just ain't it. You know, eating the cheese. That's just something in the culture that you don't do. You know, the optics of telling what happened don't look good. But I'm going to tell you this here. For some strange reason, it was a lot of people out there. That place was jam-packed people outside. I'm surprised nobody told what happened. It might have been so fast, so spur of the moment that, you know what I'm saying, they was able to get that through without too many people seeing. But I believe people seen what happened. I know Quavo know what happened. Everybody who was around know what happened. But for some reason, everybody keeping their mouth closed. The longer the mouth is closed, the more it does feel like maybe friendly fire might have been something that happened because Quavo and them not speaking. I'm surprised why Quavo and them not speaking. But I understand somebody on his side was shooting, too. Now, the friendly fire shit I hear, but I'm not too sure about that until we hear more news about that. Nobody's talking. We don't know what the fuck going on. Jay Prince, Jr. You know, you coming off a little snakish on this shit, to be honest with you. You coming off a little snakish because you still ain't said what happened. You ain't really put out a big message. Yeah, you put a post on your social media in the storyboard, but we never really heard you speak so far since this Quavo shit happened. You ain't been posting on social media but one time, and that was finesse two times pre-link order. Everybody watching your social media to see if you're going to speak about takeoff and you post for the next two times. Link for his pre-order. You know? Kind of felt marketable, you know. But uh, I'm going to keep you updated on this. You know, this shit is changing. People don't know what's happening. They feel like some snake shit happened, you know. But it's official. Takeoff auntie said she want to know what happened to Takeoff. And she don't give a fuck how it happens by any means. And in my opinion, that feels like retaliation. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the only truth. But that.